Hey there, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Local Influencers Podcast. I am your host, Abel, and today I am joined by a content creator who wears multiple hats, uh, photography, videographer, graphic design, all the above, Alex. Alex, thank you for joining me today. Thank you for the invite, man. I'm thrilled. Yes, for sure. So, uh, Alex, I see that you are you are a jack of all trades, man. When I saw your uh, information input into our system, it says that you do photography, video, also some dab a little in graphic design, mm-hmm. um, and so I'm excited to get into all of that. And so I just I always like to kind of start at the beginning for our listeners. Uh, what how did you get involved in this form of art and what, like how long have you been doing um, all of these things? Okay. uh, Great answer, man. So I, uh, I've always been a part of the church community. So when I moved to Corpus in 2014, I was attending a church that kind of didn't have much graphics going. They didn't really have a, a social media presence. So for me, I noticed like a a vacancy and everything I've ever kind of done is I've just kind of, I've had to step up to the plate every single time. Uh, So, um, I mean, I I started doing uh, video first and then next I started doing photo and then one thing just kind of bled into the other uh, and it just kind of became like this jack of all trades type of thing. Awesome. And I know you said that when you moved here, uh, how long, how long have you lived here in the local area? Yeah, so I moved down here in 2014. So I uh, went to King High School for a year. I graduated from vets. Uh, then I shortly went to Del Mar. Um, so I've been in the area for uh, since 2014. So how many years would that be? Uh, uh, eight years. Around, around eight years. Eight yeah. years. Almost a decade. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. And so, um, what what inspired you to besides like you said you saw like the vacancy there? What inspired you to to really want to specialize in photography and videography and that kind of art? Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, just looking up to people, uh, I would say, uh, I know I would spend countless, I don't know if anybody out there relates to this, but I would spend hours on YouTube looking at, uh, just cool videos, just dope videos, you know, videographers that would make travel videos. I, I say my love for, uh, videography. I came when I started seeing really dope videos, uh, at first, you know, it was like, okay, somebody needs to make an announcement video. Somebody needs to do this. But then it became like, oh my gosh, like people can make a living doing this. People can, uh, you know, they can just, they can be really professional doing this as well. So once I saw the other side of, you know, like, oh my gosh, this is something super, super cool. Uh, then my creative mind started rolling and I'm like, okay, well, how can I do some of this stuff? Yeah, I definitely can relate. I I think uh, well, that's how like my love of podcasting came is through YouTube because I found a podcast on YouTube. Yeah. Um, because I was looking up, I was writing my first book, and I was looking up. I found like a podcast called the Self Publishing Podcast, and uh, I was <laughs> yeah. like, so it was like I found my uh niche of like write, help me write, and then I'm like, I want to do what they're doing. Like, I want to talk, and I want to give people like you know, I want to be more vocal about things, and. So that's like uh, how YouTube is like how I discovered this art form of, you know, giving my voice besides my writing. And so it's pretty cool. Uh, And I'm glad you I'm glad you did, Abel. I was just so, so excited. I had met you briefly, uh, probably like what, a few weeks ago downtown at at the networking event, right? Yeah, exactly. I do remember. CC Creatives. And I was just, uh, I got the DM and I felt like a rock star. I was like, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to tell, I'm going to tell everybody, I'm going to tell everybody to go listen to this. That's it's going to awesome. be awesome. Yeah. yeah. I, I thought I remembered you um, when I started looking at your Instagram, because <laughs> I think we followed each other on Instagram that night. Um, and yeah. It was uh, shout out to CC Creatives, such a great group of people. Yeah. Um, I love what they're doing. I hope to partner with them soon, but um yeah that was pretty cool that was a pretty cool event Mm -hmm. and if you have not made it out to a networking event just a plug you definitely need to look it up on uh, instagram social media because yeah 
I mean, Alex, you were there. It's such like a, like being surrounded, you just felt like that spark of energy that night. Like, didn't oh, you? Yeah. Like, everyone's minds were just like. I loved it, bro. Going. I loved it. Uh, shout out Millie. Millie was the one yes. that kind of, you know, shot, shot the invite. Uh, but yeah, just being around other creatives, man. Uh, you know, and now, you know, the local influencers, I think it's just great for our little community here in the city. For sure. And so like photography and things, uh, cause I have, I have a friend that does photography. I've also interviewed, um, like Steven from people of Corpus who does a little bit more, he's getting into more like video. Um, what, a, like, what is your favorite <coughs> thing about the photog- talk? Like, what, like, what do you specialize in? Cause like, I have a friend, uh, who specializes, she likes to go to like a lot of, um, like nature, like, um, state parks and she likes to do okay. nature shots and then steven is more about the people and random just kind of seen you know like people and scenery what is your what, what do you specialize in what do you really like to focus on or uh, spend your energy on okay yeah so great question so it took me a while to find it i do say uh and i think every creative out there i think they go through like a, a weird phase of just kind of trying to find their niche but I think for me, at least, man, I love the downtown vibes. You know, I love the areas downtown. I love the coffee shops. I love the brick. I love the road. Uh, so for me, I, I really love shooting in urban areas, I would say. Uh, so one thing that one of the best compliments that somebody gave me is somebody asked me once, hey, where did you take that photo? And I said, hey, look, I took it downtown Corpus Christi. And they're like, no, dude, you did not do that. Uh, so for me, I, I just love, uh, kind of exploring, exploring the downtown areas and just, um, just finding out, you know, just different areas, different angles, different this, different that. Uh, so for me, I, I don't know, just the urban area. I, I, I love it. I love it. That's awesome. And, uh, so in like being a photographer and stuff, so I consider that, like I said, I've said it a couple of times out, like it's a, it's a form of art. And um, what advice would you give someone that wants to enter the space of content creating, um, being mm-hmm. a photographer, videographer, even graphic design, just being a content creator in general? If you had to give someone some advice or your younger self advice, mm-hmm. what are some things that you would say? Okay, that's a, that's a great question. Um, so I'm going to try not to butcher it. <laughs> yeah, no, so, no, go ahead. <laughs> Yeah. So some advice I would give is don't be discouraged. Uh, it's very easy, man, uh, to be young, you know, you're creative and you have all of these people that you kind of look up to. And then, you know, you go out on a shoot and you have an idea in mind and it just, it just doesn't map out, you know, it just doesn't work out for me. I, I would beat myself up a lot. Um, but then eventually, you know, the, the more you stick to things, the easier it gets. So now, you know, um, uh, I, I can kind of plan a shoe and kind of scout a location and kind of get, you know, uh, what, what I had in mind, but that doesn't come with, you know, that, that only comes with time, I would say. Uh, so if I could encourage anybody out there would be just don't get discouraged and just keep at it. You know, eventually, uh, things will start rolling for you. Love that. And so I was looking at your Instagram. I see that you also play the drums. Yeah, I do. Dude, you're like, uh, when I said jack of all trades earlier, I missed that part. Like, <laughs> Lord, man, you're just like coming yeah. for like, you're just like content creating. You're creating everywhere. <laughs> how did that happen? Like, when did you start that? And okay. how long have you been doing that? Because I'm like, man, like, what's happening? Yeah. That is crazy. Okay. Okay. So, uh, okay. So everything that I've ever done. Okay. I can honestly credit just to serving at your local church, you know, so drums for me were actually my first creative outlet. There were, I started playing drums when I was 12. Uh, so that was like the first form of art, you know, that I ever had. And then later on, you know, like, like, I, like I mentioned earlier, there was a vacancy at the church. Everything I've ever done has always been, all right, somebody needs to step up to the plate, you know, and, and I've kind of always taken it upon my shoulders all right, uh, I don't know graphics, but I'm going to learn. I don't know this, but I'm going to learn, you know, and drums was the same thing. Uh, there was a vacancy, uh, and then I just loved it, you know? So a lot of the things that I, that I love now is just been me, um, trying something new and then just sticking to it and then finding out that I really like it, you know? 
Uh, so drums, eventually, you know, now I kind of try to implement my, like my video side and, you know, I'll try to have like a little lighting setup. I'll try to make it look aesthetic, you know? Um, so I, I love the fact that, you know, if you're creative, that all your worlds can kind of combine and you can use everything that you have to help the other, you know, for example, if, if you're into podcasting like yourself, you know, you might do graphics and like, Hey, you know, you can, you can sure use the two together. Uh, and I think that's great about creatives is that, you know, sometimes we're gifted in multiple areas and they help each other out, you know? So that's something that for me at drums, I, I love as well. So I kind of try to implement both of them together. Yeah. I think as creatives, we tend to like always see something bright and shiny and we want to learn it mm. or do it. We're like, Oh, I want to do that. Oh, I want to do that. Yeah like me with like seven podcasts and i'm still trying to come up with ideas for <laughs> i'm like literally trying to come up with ideas for more and to do more i'm like oh i think i have an idea for another one uh and so yeah. it's just like i think it's just something in our creative minds that it's just like it's like a madness but it's like a good madness you know <laughs> it's like yeah yeah just, i think it's just something Blessing that drives all of us you know what i mean it's like mm-hmm. uh people are like when do you sleep i'm like um <laughs> well, because <laughs> you know, you know. A, a full-time job but it's like also doing all these things is fun to me and it's exciting yeah. meeting meeting people like you and millie and jacqueline and j vibes and everyone it's, everyone is just like um yeah. that i've met and monica from cc bucklist everyone is just like they just like everyone here locally like we talked about earlier how like every we watch youtube and we got inspired to mm-hmm. do kind of content creating but like going to like for example that local networking event really just i left there with like a foot at my butt i was just like i need to get on it i was like man these people are like doing something here here in town you know what i mean i felt the same way and it's like when's the next one you know and i missed this following this past one that was yesterday as of the recording of this but i'm like i already booked the next one in my calendar and i'm Mm -hmm. like dude, I'm like, I have to go because being around that energy is just so contagious. Like you leave there and you're like, mm-hmm. I got to do something. I need to network. I yeah. need to talk to someone. I need to do something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. I, uh, I 100% relate to that. And I love the fact that we can kind of just, it, it, it's not, I don't feel uh, like it's competition. You know, mm-hmm. I feel like it's just something that you know, you see somebody that's also a photographer, they go out and do a dope shoot and you're like, oh shoot, like I haven't done one in a week. Let me go out and do a, a shoot, you know? So it kind of helps you just kind of stay on top of the game. So I love it, man. And meeting people like you, meeting people like Millie, I mean, it's just, it's it's awesome. I, I love it. Yeah, and I think that was like um, the event. We've been lucky enough here in town, at least the people that I've come across so far, with the exception of one or two, but at that event specifically at CC Creatives, um, it was like everyone, there was a lot of people doing the same thing as me or you, but like we all were like, there's room for all of us. And we were just like mm-hmm. pulling ideas from each other. And it was just yeah. like, um, so I encourage everyone who wants to create some kind of content or form of art to get out and network with some, like with people, like-minded people. Surround yourself, just being around that energy like even doing like a podcast like this, like talking to you mm-hmm. over Zoom, it makes me like whenever we end here, I'm like, all right, now I'm gonna go and make some some images for like the mm-hmm. for the next podcast, and I start planning out my next shows, and you know, it just like gets mm-hmm. you going. So um, even though like right before this, I'm like laying in bed watching a show, you know, they're watching <laughs> yeah. watching uh, a show on Pro- Amazon Prime, but yeah. um, so I I guess we've re- kind of reached the time now is like. Where can people find you on social media? Do you have a website? Now's the time to kind of plug anything and everything that you'd like to kind of plug. Okay, yeah, sure thing. So my photography page is Freedom Film CC. Uh, I do a lot of weddings. Uh, I still try to do like fun creative shoots. Um, I do, I dabble in graphics as well on the side, but my my main thing that I want to kind of focus on right now is uh, my videography and my photography. Uh, and then my personal account, uh, if you want to see all the drone videos, they'll be up there. Uh, my, my personal is Alex Perez with two L's and two X's. So A-L-E-X-X Perez. Um, and then it's also tied to my, my freedom film on there. So you could probably find, you could find each account through each other's handle. Uh, but yeah, man, I, you know, I just try to stay 
as creative as I can, you know, as busy yeah. as I am, but as, 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 as creative as I can. Yeah. Creatives, creative people are, we're, we're mad, but it's a good, like I said, it's good. So we wear a lot of mad, we're the mad hatters. We, we wear a different hat. That's true. So, and we get a little sleep. <laughs> yeah. Little sleep. But like I, I tell everyone, you make time for the things that you love to do. So that's um, right. That's right. But yeah, Alex, man, thanks for joining me on the podcast. I look forward to uh, hopefully connecting with you again at the next meeting if you're able to make it. And um, for everyone listening out there, I will have Alex's Instagram and social media handles in the show notes. All you'll have to do is scroll up on your device and click on it. It'll take you directly to his pages uh, and that will it'll be that easy for you. Um, and then for our listeners, one last thing, wherever you are listening, um, wherever you live, please make sure you head out into your community, make a positive change and do some good today until next time. We'll talk soon, guys.